They can cost hundreds, even thousands of dollars, but chances are you don't know much about the parts your mechanic puts in your car. Today, our auto man is making it simple so you can make an informed choice the next time you have a breakdown. He's Brian Bowersock from West Escondido Auto and Transmission. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning. Good morning. So I think most people assume when you get your car fixed, all new parts. Not so? Um, often uh, parts are remanufactured, used, um, and uh, aftermarket type of parts. So it's something that the uh, consumer should actually be informed of when their car is being fixed. So do they usually tell you ahead of time or is it just something like once you get the car fixed or once they give you the estimate, it'll stay on there and you just have to look for it? They should be told ahead of time when you're given an est estimate in the state of California before any repairs are done to your car. Obviously, you must be given an estimate for them. At that time when uh, they're explaining to the consumer what they're going to do, the consumer should be told this is a remanufactured part or we're using brand new parts or or, you know what, we're going to put a used part on your vehicle. Well, it just seems logical to some degree that a new part's going to be better. Is that always true? Um, in most cases, if a new part's available at West Escondido, we prefer to use a new part, and especially OEM quality. There's, there's another trip up here. There's a difference between new OEM quality, which is original equipment manufacturer specs, okay. and um, new that's aftermarket. There can be different quality. They don't always make them to the same specifications. So which one tends to be better? The, the OEM quality one okay. is, is, is usually better. And um, a lot of people shop for car repairs on price, and they don't understand the difference between, obviously, dealing with apples and oranges. If one person is quoting you a remanufactured part, somebody else is quoting you OEM new part, there can be quite a difference in price and also the quality of the repair. Okay, and there was just some information up on the screen talking, uh, letting people know different things that they should look at. Whenever you're, you find out that you have an OEM product on your car, is there any questions that you should ask? I mean, can you feel secure that it's going to be a good part and, and last for a while? As long as you, it once again comes down to a quality repair facility, obviously they want to take care of their consumers and they're going to put the best available part on the vehicle that they can find. Um, so yes, typically, and they usually come with the best warranties as far as part warranties. So they are going to be a little bit more expensive? Yeah. Yes, they are, always. And when you're looking at that, what kind of price difference are we talking about? Is it dramatic? It can vary. Um, we, the other day, had a um, starter that uh, varied from um, um, $50 difference between a remanufactured and a new. Um, so it's, it's not always a lot of money, but the quality is, is definitely a big difference. Now, in my own experience, I ran to one time when I had a rebuilt part. I, my car had been damaged. I went and I said, no, I want a new one, but insurance wouldn't allow it. Is that, is that a problem? Um, insurance companies have all their own specifications. That can be difficult sometimes. And there are times that there are not new ones available. There are some components, large components, such as uh, uh, transmissions, um, um, power steering racks, things like that that are often not available brand new, or if they are brand new, they're three to four times more than a remanufactured. So you're, whoever's repairing your vehicle or servicing your vehicle should be able to advise you. There are remanufactured components that we advise our consumers, hey, these are good remanufactured components. I strongly recommend this over a new one because of the cost of a new one, or a new one's not available at all. So what questions should people be asking? Because most of us aren't going to be educated enough to know one over the other which is going to be better. What questions should you ask? Um, I would be asking you know, um, do you, the parts you're installing on my uh, vehicle are the OEM quality, which means even if remanufactured, they had to be manufactured to the OEM specs, which is the original equipment that came off your vehicle. And um, you can often ask, is there a new part available versus a remanufactured one, um, et cetera, things like that. Okay, so it may cost you a little bit more, but it's probably going to hold up and last better. The longevity of the repair is usually quite a bit better. All right. Thanks so much, Ryan. Always good information. If you'd like more information, you can just log on to our website at fox6.com. There's a link there to ask questions to Brian if you'd like to as well. All right. Well, we'll be right back.